be finding the volume of a cone. So the cone is uh, shaped like, you know, you could think of it as a, an ice cream cone, for example, that's the easiest way to think about it. An ice cream cone, you could fit it in a, a cylinder, for example, and it would leave a certain area out, for example. So the, the volume of the cylinder will be uh, reduced to a cone volume by, you know, by saying, well, one third of that cylinder will be actually uh, the volume of the cone. Okay, so you would imagine that you put in a cone inside the cylinder and the, the volume of that cone will, will, will hold one third of the actual volume of the cylinder. So it's interesting. So we'll, we'll do this later on and uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you how to do the volume and how to do uh, you know, the surface, uh, the, the surface area has already been done so by the, uh, by the first section. So now we, we need to keep in mind that how much we're going to fit inside a cone so it could be, for example, here, uh, a bird's uh, fed. So we could put, uh, you know, seeds inside the cone to, to feed the birds. And this way we would know exactly how much we could fit in that cone. Okay. And the cone could have a, a upside, it could be upside down. It doesn't make a difference because it's only the volume that we care about, how much inside. Second section after that will be uh, the volume of a sphere, I, uh, to my belief, yes. The volume of the sphere. Remember, a sphere could be, you know, a ball of, uh, you know, you could think of it as a, a fish tank, for example. So you could fit uh, water in it. Uh, so you would know the volume of that one. Or this is the gumball machine. So th that's what they call a gumball machine. So you could see also how much you could fit inside that as a volume. Uh, you know, uh, that's it. And the, the whole chapter is about memorizing rules and knowing how to do things. It's not that complicated. Uh, for for students who like soccer, this is also a, a football is actually a sphere. So the volume will be is four over three pi r cube because now we're talking about volume, so it has to be a power three. So we could cover the volume of a, a, a sphere. Um, I'll show you how we could do a combination of two things. We could probably we we can we could have a, a cone with a with a half a sphere on top of it. Okay, which is also common. You could use it as you know for as a as an ice cream cone, and that it's covered by a half a sphere. Okay, and also um, yeah, that's it. You know that's how you, you could think about it. Uh, we'll do extra examples on that later on, and um, you know this is a training uh, ball, which is just like a sphere also. So we could find that how much air we could put inside it as a volume because the air is inside is a volume, and that's it. That's the only thing we need to do for this week, which is two sections. And then after that, we'll go to the last two sections in this chapter, uh, which is, will be um, about what? That's it. That's the last two sections. That's it. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.